Hey house guests, welcome to today's Big Brother Canada updates and spoilers. It's the first one for season five. All right, so our house guest of the day is Kenny D. We want to thank you so much for your continued support. You're so freaking awesome. And if you guys want to be house guest of the day, you should check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Um, I think we're going to be changing up our rewards soon, so like don't get too attached to them, but we're definitely still going to have house guests of the day under the $1 spot, so if you guys have any suggestions for rewards that you think would be awesome, leave them in the comments below because I would love to get some feedback from you guys. Alright, so let's get started. A uh, quick recap of what happened while the feeds were down the past week. Karen won the first HOH. She nominated Dimitri and Mark. Uh, okay, so Karen's a newbie and she nominated two other newbies. What? Okay, so then Bruno won the power veto, didn't use it, so Mark was evicted by a vote of seven to six. Damn! It's not often that we see such a close vote, a, such a split vote like that in the first week. So that's crazy. This is gonna drive me nuts. <sighs> okay, hair in my mouth. So then, uh, on an unrelated note, I guess, uh, we find out that Netta is safe until jury. Thank you, Canada. So she can't be evicted, she can't even be nominated, but she can be a have not, uh, win HOH, vote. So she's still got like all of her other stuff going on. But that's freaking crazy right? That's insane. All right, so then after the show last night, the feeds came on for the first time, and guess what? We missed a lot of drama. I feel so spoiled now after watching Over the Top last fall, where we got to see everything, including them coming into the house, you know, at the beginning of the season. So it was, it's really weird now not knowing what happened in that first week, but it sounds like there was a huge blow-up leading up to the live show. I'm talking like the last few hours before. Um, that explains the, the split vote, but we still have no idea what exactly happened. We better get to see this crap on the show because I need to know what happened here. So then, uh, before the feeds came on, they also had the next HOH competition. Turns out Dimitri won that. The challenge involved soccer or something. So Dimitri really went from zero to hero. He was on the block and now he is the HOH this week. So everybody's kissing his butt now. Um, people who voted him out are trying to explain themselves. And just in case you guys forgot, the six people who voted for him to go were Kevin, Dallas, Jackie, Dylan, Emily, and Bruno. So they got some work to do here. Um, so let's, we'll come back to that, but back to the pre-show drama. Apparently Mark was caught in some kind of lie, and of course Cass was involved. I mean, the first thought, the first name that comes to mind where I hear like, oh, pre-vote drama, Cass. From this group, absolutely Cass. Uh, so it sounds like the vets, or at least most of the vets, could be turning on her. Aika, Netta, and Cindy are all like this right now. <laughs> like the three of them are so tight. Uh, so they were talking with Bruno, and Bruno wants Cass out. Cass is like his new Sarah. She's poison. So he's trying to get rid of her. The girls agree they don't like Cass either. She's stirring shit up. She thinks that she's the best in the house right now. So they're like, yeah, we should probably get rid of her sooner rather than later. I don't know if she's their number one target, but that's what they're telling Bruno. So then they're trying to figure out, like, how are we going to spin this? Because Cass did vote for Dimitri to stay this week. Uh, and Bruno, Kevin, and Dallas did not. Um, it doesn't seem like Dallas is really with the other veterans, though. Maybe some of the guys, and I think Cass, but those three girls, I'm not seeing it. So the girls are thinking, like, we could help out Bruno and Kevin. They want to tell Dimitri that uh, the two guys voted him out because they didn't want it to look like they were all working together. You go ahead and say that. We'll see if it works. So then uh, Dimitri and Aika were chatting in the storage room and these two definitely seem really close. They're really tight. Um, I don't know when this happened. Again, because we didn't see that first week of feeds, but Aika is giving him a lot of advice. She's telling him the whole thing that they were planning about Kevin and Bruno voting him out so that it wouldn't look like they were working together. Uh, she also told him, do not trust Dylan, Emily, or Dallas. Those three appear to be very tight. Uh, the girls don't like Dylan. It seems like Dylan could be the big target this week. Ooh, uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. So anyway, 
Aika is doing too much right now. Um, she's she's playing really hard right out of the gate. So she was talking to Cass, and Cass lets it out that she's surprised that Netta was the one that got Canada's vote because she thought for sure that she was gonna get it. Um, nope. So then <laughs> Ika puts that away in her back pocket for later. And Cass is like, yeah, I think Netta has issues with me. Maybe it's because, like, a Persian thing. Like, she wants to show that she's better than me. I don't know. So then Ika's like, you know what? Why don't we bring Netta in here? Let's patch things up because we can't be divided right now. So they do bring her in. And they fake up. <laughs> you know, they're going to they're gonna be like, oh, it's okay. We're all good. So they tell each other, like, we're the three strongest girls. And Canada's going to want us to work together. Really though, are they really gonna work together? I don't think so. I don't see Cass and Netta ever working together just because they're they're similar in a way. I don't know. I just don't see it working. So after that conversation was over, Aika tells Netta about what Cass was saying earlier about the whole uh, surprise that she got Canada's vote and everything, and Netta was just like, bitch, please, I'm just gonna chill until jury, it's all good. So then, it was time for Dimitri's HOH room reveal. This is exciting. Okay, so you know how, like, every time somebody wins HOH, they get a letter from home, and they're like, oh my god, it's so amazing. Well, guess what? This season, they're getting a video from home. Okay, so <laughs> they all watched Dimitri's video from his parents. People were freaking out. People were crying. Jackie and Dylan especially were very emoshi. Uh, I guess they were really missing their families. But Dylan, oh my god. So like Jackie had her little breakdown and then she was fine. Dylan would not stop crying last night. It was so ridiculous. I don't know if it was 100% honest. I think maybe he was playing it up a little bit. Um, but it was like non-stop tears. It was wild. So then, you know, aside from that, Dimitri was passing around his tequila that he got in his HOH basket. So that only fueled the emotions even more. And then Big Brother decided, yo, let's turn this up. So they gave them like pitchers of beer. They gave them wine. These people were getting sloshed. <laughs> Gary was hilarious. Oh my god. He was like, I'm gonna hang out with Kevin and I messed up my makeup and he was like trying to fix it. He was saying he was gonna do a whole new face and Cassandra was like, we don't have time for that. Cause seriously, he had freaking like forehead eyeshadow on, okay? That shit takes forever. <laughs> you don't got time to do that twice in one day. But anyway, then, uh, you know, outside of all the crying, Dylan and Dallas like kissed and then Dylan whispered in Emily's ear that he thinks that she's really pretty. I don't know if there's a potential showmance there or what, but it's definitely putting a target on their backs because people are already talking about it. Um, but then, let's let's move on from that. Aika and Cindy. Okay, so it seems like they came into the house with, with some bad blood. Uh, I don't think they had a very good relationship outside. They weren't on the same season, but I think they had some weird stuff going on outside because they're both from Toronto, so I mean they've crossed paths before. But last night they were freaking rolling around together, literally rolling around together, laughing, hugging each other, just being like, you're the best, you're my best friend, I'll never turn on you. So then Aika keeps saying like, oh, I've changed, I'm a good Christian person, I am a nice person and people like me now. Aika was really drunk. <laughs> she was really drunk. She was literally rolling around on the floor at one point and Karen was just like, honey, the floor is really dirty. <laughs> It was bad. But anyway, uh, Aika keeps going on about how she's a good person now. And then she's talking crap about Cass. She's walking around being like, I'm Cassandra and I'm the best in the house. And I mean, it was kind of funny. It reminded me of like when Britney was wearing Rachel's hair extensions on the US version. So then Netta was also really drunk. She doesn't have a care in the world at this point. So the vet girls were chilling with Dimitri. They're having a good time, dancing around, listening to his music, listening to some Biggie. Uh, but then there was still some strategizing going on too on the other side. Let's talk about what's turning into the other side of the house. So Dallas and Emily are strategizing. They know they're on the shit list right now. They both voted for Dimitri to go home and they're not really close with those three girls and like their people people. I think, let's see, Aika, Netta, and Cindy, as far as I can see, are also very close with Dre, William, 
and Kevin and Bruno. That's what it seems like. Gary is kind of like in the middle right now, which is interesting. So anyway, Dallas and Emily realize that Dylan is probably going to go up this week because all last week, uh, Dimitri was like, yeah, I'm going after Dylan. He sucks. So now it's going to be really weird if he goes back on that. So they want to try and get Karen to go up next to him because it would make sense and they could get away with it because Karen was the HOH last week and she put Dimitri up on the block. So it would make sense for her to go up. Um, so then Dallas was later talking to Jackie. It was pretty much the same stuff, but I think it's worth mentioning because it seems like Dallas is definitely more on the newbie side. He's rolling with Dilly. Dilly? <laughs> He's rolling with Dylan, Jackie, Emily, and, uh, it seems like he's definitely trying to stay close to Cass as well. But anyway... Dilly. <laughs> today, Dilly and Dally! Oh shit! Okay, anyway, today, people were all making their pitches to Dimitri being like, Sorry, I voted you out. Don't put me up, bruh. Uh, but he's basically telling everybody, in my, I'm still laughing about Dilly Dally. He's telling everyone, I gotta put Dylan up on the block. I would be an idiot not to, so... He's basically telling everyone, Dylan, <laughs> Dilly is his target, oh shit, Dylan is his target. Uh, he's just trying to figure out now who is going to be up there next to him. And it looks like it's going to be Emily, because again, it seems like they could have some sort of blossoming showmance. If not, they are very close. And Emily had a very negative reaction when Dimitri won HOH, and people noticed that, so don't do that. <laughs> Alright, uh, anyway... The have-nots were revealed this morning, the first of the season, and I believe they were based on the results from the first HOH competition. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think so. Um, so they are Cass, Ika, Cindy, and Emily. Ooh, so then they got to see the new HOH... <sighs> Dilly Dally. They got to see the new have-not room for this season, and yikes! Uh, they got that nasty-ass, like, rib cage room... <laughs> I'm really interested to see how they're going to cope with that and how they're going to even, like, try to sleep in there. It's going to be interesting. But anyway, Karen needs to get her shit together. <sighs> she is really rubbing people the wrong way right now. Dallas already doesn't like her, and he's going around saying, like, we need to get rid of her. She freaking sucks. And then she had a little tip with Jackie today. She was claiming that Jackie said that she was voting with the house last week. And Jackie was like, uh, I never said that. Uh, F! She, you know, she stands by that she was always going to vote out Dimitri because she was closer with Mark. Um, but anyway, she was pretty pissed about that, that Karen's spreading these rumors about her. So then Jackie turns around, tells everybody else, like, Karen sucks. She's making up lies about me. We gotta get rid of her. So... I don't know. Karen needs to freaking, like, tone it down a little bit. But nominations are today... They're probably going to be Dylan and Emily, but you never know. Karen could really implode before then. Uh, but if you guys want to check back later, I will post the nominations in the info box for this video. And we'll definitely be talking about it more tomorrow. So let me know what your thoughts are. And until then, much love.